The Oregon Trail Reserve sits on the second bench and slopes down to Surprise Valley. It is the only city reserve located outside of the foothills. It permanently protects the Kelton Ramp, used by pioneers to reach the Boise River Valley as they traveled the Oregon Trail across Idaho. This 77-acre property was set aside in the 1990s as part of the development approval for Columbia Village. The 110-acre Mesa Reserve extends from Warm Springs Boulevard up the south side of Table Rock. It was created as a result of a Foothills Levy Fund purchase and land set aside by Homer Wise, the developer of Warm Springs Mesa. The land between Mesa Reserve and Castle Rock Reserve along the face of Table Rock, which includes the Boise Bee, is mostly owned by the state of Idaho. Mesa Reserve will expand over time to include the area outlined in orange as part of the development agreement for the adjacent subdivision. The 600-acre Noble Reserve was gifted to Boise citizens in 2003 by Allen and Billy D. Noble. They believed in the vision the city had created for the foothills and wanted to be part of it. Noble Reserve is totally surrounded by BLM property and provides a key corridor tying the Boise Ridge to Military Reserve. Nearby, we find Castle Rock Reserve, preserving a place the Shoshone, Bannock, and Paiute tribes frequented for its geothermal hot springs and creeks. This 48-acre reserve was protected in 1995 as a result of a citizen-led effort in conjunction with the Morningside Heights development approval process. As we head northwest, we come across Foothills East Reserve. The smallest reserve created as part of the Foothills East development process in early 1970s. The reserve is surrounded by adjacent homes and has a number of user-made trails, none of which are part of the 150-mile ridge to river system. we come across the 734-acre Military Reserve, aptly named because of its use as a military training ground for nearby Fort Boise. It was acquired from the federal government in 1959 and expanded in 2006 with the Foothills Levy Fund purchase of the Hawkins property. Just two miles north of the state capital lies the cornerstone to the city's Foothill Reserve system. Camelsback Reserve and the adjacent Holes Gulch Reserve. Camelsback was acquired by the city in 1932 and later buffered by the citizen-led effort to save Holes Gulch in 1992. The Foothills Learning Center is the hub of Holes Gulch Reserve, engaging 10,000 school children annually in outdoor education lessons and hosting outreach events for the general public. On the other side of Bogus Basin Road lies 260 acres known as Hillside to Hollow Reserve, the newest addition to the city's reserve system. As this land changed hands over the last 10 years, the city was in continued negotiation with the various landowners. Finally, the Land Trust of the Treasure Valley purchased a neighboring Harrison Hollow property in 2011 and the city was able to come to terms on a deal with absentee investors. Much of the reserve's visitation is from the adjacent neighbors. When the Foothills Levy passed in 2001, the vision included having a reserve in the northwest Boise foothills. That dream has become a reality with land purchases in 2003, 2005, 2010, and 2012. Now, the city has the 475-acre Polcat Gulch Reserve with 8 miles of trails and a healthy population of the endemic Aussies onion plant. The largest reserve, Stack Rock, is another tremendous story of the community's love for the foothills. A humble local hiker named Fred Allman and his family wanted to leave a legacy for future generations. They chose to donate $1 million to the city allowing it to only use $320,000 from the Foothills Levy Fund to purchase these 1,320 acres. 
Stack Rock is the highest elevation reserve located adjacent to the Bogus Basin ski area and provides a change of scenery with tall pines and dramatic views.